All right, YouTube land, we're back with another video. Today we've got a 500 amp regulated supply for Kirk. Kirk ordered this supply uh, a while back. He's been waiting patiently for it. Uh, and we're getting into to the end of our power supply list, finally. We have a, uh, after this, we have a 400 amp that's well overdue, and we have an 1,000 amp for uh, one of our guys over in California. So we're trying to get all these wrapped up as quick as possible. And uh, so uh, without further ado, we're going to load this up. Now, there's two videos to this. The first video on this supply, it smoked my load tester. It actually smoked the, it was crazy. So I had to rebuild, uh, rework inside, redo the connections. Um, I guess the load tester's been through a lot, you know. But the way we're going to do this, we're going to load this thing up. We're going to max it out and we'll show you the voltage here and uh, show you the voltage is not dropping. Unfortunately, this meter does no longer work. I need to buy another load tester, but anyway, this meter is accurate and uh, is in the supply. And uh, so anyway, we're gonna load it up here. We're gonna max load this thing. I'm gonna put it in the corner. Uh, I'm not gonna hold it very long because, uh, uh, you know, I don't want this thing to get too hot, catch on fire. Uh, as they're prone to do if you just sit there and let them set you know so we're just gonna show that this thing uh, will do over 500 amps and hold it and then we're gonna do uh, another test uh, the, a more realistic test on the way you know the guys are when you're using it to talk so here we go I'm gonna load her up I'm gonna put it in the corner and as you can see she ain't lost a lick so We'll bring it back down. Okay, guys, when you're ordering a supply, you're gonna order a bigger supply than what you're needing. If you need 500 amps, you're not gonna order 500 amps. You would order like uh, 750, 800 amps. You have to order bigger than what you're needing. And that's the case here. That's what uh, uh, Kirk did. He ordered bigger than what he needed, of course. So, real world test is not gonna be pulling this thing over you know, 550, 600 amps in the corner. A uh, real world test, you know, if you're running an amp, you're going to key up and you're going to swing amp what while you're talking. So we're, you know, we're pulling up there three, four hundred amps, no problem. And you watch the meter here. We'll pull back here, you can see it all at once. The meter's not even fluctuating, so that's the way it works. So if you look here though, we got smoke puffing out of our uh, tester, that's how hot it is. I don't know if y'all can see that smoke. But it's uh, lots of smoke coming out of it. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to put it under a good test. We're just loading it up here. We're just bringing it up and bringing it down. So, there's more smoke coming out of the top. I don't know if y'all can see the smoke. It's just starting to barrel. But, uh, load tester's definitely good and warm. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to conclude the test here and call it a day. So uh, definitely the 500 amp power supply would uh, blow up the load tester for good if we just stayed on it. So, all right, yeah, that sucker's hot enough to cook eggs. So anyway, uh, I've got several radios. Uh, I've got like six radio builds coming up, seven radio builds coming up all this week, videos. Lincoln's, President Lincoln, we got a President Lincoln alignment, a Galaxy 47, another President Lincoln, uh, two Cobra 25s and like five Cobra 29s. So we've got lots of radios coming up. Y'all guys stay tuned. Uh, we've also got a 2x6 amplifier coming up. Then we've got a couple of bass amps. we got a 2x12 coming up, 2x12 uh, amplifier biased amp coming up. Uh, got lots of cool stuff coming up. Plus, we're going to be starting this Suburban build. Y'all going to watch the Suburban build. Uh, the, the dilemma I've had is I've got a 93 and I've got a 98, and I ain't figured out which one I want to build yet. So that's that's the dilemma on that. Probably, I kind of want to build the 93 because I can do whatever I want to it without uh, affecting it, uh, getting inspected for as far as emissions purposes. So... Uh, you know, I can do some stuff to the motor, but I don't know. We may, may build the 98 and then uh, keep the 93 for a, a larger build. I don't know what we're going to do. But the, the 90, if I build the 98, that's the one that we're going to be uh, hitting brakes with uh, 
or if I build either one. Whatever one I build, we're going to be hitting the brakes this year uh, through the summer and uh, and stuff. So, anyway, y'all be safe, be careful, and be kind. We're going to get out of here. 442, 500 amp regulated supply. It's headed at you, Kurt. Uh, yeah, we're going to get it over to the packing and uh, we'll get it headed your direction. Have a good one.